What is up guys, how's it going? So uh, as you can see, I'm just actually getting in the car right here. Uh, this is actually my third session of the day. Um, I actually had two sessions already. Uh, this is Jayzilla Track Days. Um, this is who has held the Track Days actually. Um, the organization that's holding the Track Days, Jayzilla. Uh, and this is my second day, or second time actually on Road Atlanta. But uh, anyways, so like I said, this is my third session, um, and I'm in blue group, which means uh, I'm not in green group. Green group is actually novice class. Blue group is a step up, and you're actually supposed to be driving solo. But uh, the guy sitting next to me is actually my co-driver, or my dad's co-driver helping him. Uh, my dad's actually in green class. But anyway, I, I wanted him to go out with me just to help me out with the, the line um, on the track, and I just wanted to make sure that I had the line correct before... Um, I wanted to get more aggressive with driving on the track and stuff, so he he was out there helping me, directing me, and um, like what run, rumble strips I can go over and stuff. So uh, um, as you can see, that uh, we're getting on the track right now, and um, you have to put your hand up right there just to show to get on the track and show the the guys that are out there. So you can see that we're getting on the track right now. People are actually already on there, so that's why I'm looking to get on. <laughs> no one burling up behind me so this is actually turn one right here that we're going up you actually want to take this uh, pretty far out to the right and then you'll see that I'll be coming into the left right here to uh, turn two and then and then going over the rumble strip right there into turn four um, and then you got the bends right here and um, I was kind of working on my downshifting actually heel towing and then you're going to be coming in here to turn five you want to in Miatas, you definitely want to come as much speed as you can, uh, carry through that turn right there, and just take it as go over the rumble strips right there, and then then uh, you can see I'm heel toeing down here and all the way into second gear to turn six, and uh, you want to take that pretty tight, um, and then this is another turn down shift down to second, um, and this is turn seven. And this turn um, you want to take it pretty wide, pretty close to rumble strips, um, as much speed as you can. And then this is the straight stretch, which uh, turn eight and nine are on. Uh, it's not really turns, but this is the back straight stretch. And a Miata, um, you'll probably only be going, like I did, it was probably like 101, 105 max in like a stock Miata um, that you'll reach back here. But um, you'll be coming into turn 10A. And uh, usually in a Miata, like I said, you're going to 100 about 100 miles an hour and then you don't want to break until about like 200 feet for my driving experience more experienced drivers will be coming down here um about 100 miles an hour and they won't break till about 150 and or 150 feet 100 feet and then you got turn um you're coming up over the hill right here want to stay to the left um this is turn 11 right here um it's a lot of sketchy for a lot of drivers and you got turn 12 coming in right here but it's this hill right here um turn like 11 and 12 is pretty sketchy for um, a lot of drivers just because you are blind going over that hill so now that I, I got pretty comfortable with him um with the line that he gave me and uh turn one is probably one of the only turns on the track that i do have trouble with uh, i can't read the car I guess that well of how much speed I can actually carry um, towards the end of the day you'll see um, I actually got pretty comfortable um, but I was actually driving the car to its capabilities with the tires that I had I only have 195s on here um, they're pretty good tires the Ventus V2s are actually RS4s on there but um, I didn't have enough tire as you can see like I'm coming up on this NB right here um, he actually did let me pass him um, but I did carry a ton of speed through that turn behind the NB and actually I had to slow down just because uh, in blue group and green group you're not allowed to pass only by point by until you get to yellow and red group. So coming back here, turn six and seven, um, carrying speed as you can see, uh, carried a ton of speed, kind of went over the rumble strip right there and then you know in a Miata like you can pass a ton of people but I had to point by, like, I think it was a, a couple of V8s, um, but I had to point them by just because, you know, that was, yeah, that was a S550, and um, I think there was another one, maybe not, anyway, but, you know, the V8s are going to get you, the V8s are probably, like, the Mustangs and the Corvettes, they're going to hit probably about 125, 130 on the back stretch, and you're only doing, like, 100 back there in a stock Miata, so uh, wait until about 200 feet, and then you slam on the brakes, and then uh, take turn 10A and 10B pretty tight right there, 
and then back to 10B. And like I said, you usually um you'll you go over the yellow marking over the bridge right there, stay to the left, and you can't see over this is pretty blind like I was saying before. Stay on that left side, and then you'll take turn 12 pretty hard, tight in there. Um, so after those two laps, we kind of went and uh, did a couple more, but uh, I'll let you. Uh, we'll switch to my dad here and uh, see his first time. So we just switched over to my dad, and uh, i just like to give a big shout out to him because this is actually his first time ever driving on a track before doing anything like this. We've actually done autocross before, but track days are completely different. So big shout out to him for actually trying it. And uh, this is actually his car that we dedicated um, just fully for track. And actually, we drive it on the road sometimes too, but um, we bought this car just specifically to do track days. So... You can see that he's uh, he's coming up turn one right here, um, and his instructor is doing awesome. And uh, basically, for novice class, all it is is you know showing you the basics, showing you how to brake and what the line should be. And uh, the the co-driver here is actually and um, the instructor is telling him you know what a lot of drivers do. Uh, some people get scared and drive pretty slow, but my dad was getting the hang of it pretty fast. This is his third session out there. Um, so he, he's definitely got the hang of it. He was driving pretty slow at first, which is, you know, um, pretty common uh, just because drivers are just getting used to Road Atlanta. Road Atlanta is definitely a pretty challenging track. So um, he's coming up to uh, turn f uh, six right here. Um, so he was uh, learning. He doesn't know how to um, actually heel toe yet, but he does know how to downshift. So he was he was working on his downshifts and you know getting a feel for the car. So um, he he was doing a really really good job, as you can see here too. His his co-driver, um, his instructor was very very proud of him. So he was progressing out through the whole entire day. Um, like I said, this is his third session. So I think we 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 get six sessions with a the whole day but I think we actually only did five just because it's so much driving uh, 20 minute sessions each here and there so um, he's on the back straight right here and uh, I think his instructor was actually having him break at 200 feet as well um, his first two sessions he was kind of breaking um, further back but the one thing that he was doing that his instructor told him um, that it was his biggest flaw was his braking because uh, on the track you do not want to lay on the brakes further back you want to come to that 200 feet or 100 foot uh, brake just because you will fade your brakes if you don't if you just lay on them early so uh, he did work on that throughout the whole entire day but and he was he was getting the line pretty down too um, which was awesome so uh, he's letting someone pass right here as you guys can see point by um, but I mean he was killing it out there for a novice driver for his first time and he actually did uh, at the end of the day um, he did get signed off uh, to be in blue group which is pretty cool and it's actually pretty rare to get signed off on your first time uh, to get signed off to be solo to go to the next group just because um, a lot of drivers aren't very experienced coming out here at Road Atlanta and like I said this is a challenging track so he's killing it as you can see he's coming through up to turn five right here and uh, he's he's killing it. He's doing a really good line, and um, taking some good speed through here, taking it wide. And uh, he's actually coming up on. He's letting someone point by right here. And uh, like what that's what an instructor does in novice class too. He makes you point at each of the stations where the flag guys are, and also um, you know, can you actually point by someone? Can you see and watch your temperature of your car? Can you downshift? Can you see the speed that you're going? And also be looking at your line that you need to take while if someone's coming up on your back bumper. So that's the kind of stuff that they were working on in novice class. And that's what you can expect if you actually want to do a track day at Road Atlanta. Um, so it's, it's really cool that they actually put a co-driver with you to show you all of that. Um, but he's coming up here on the back stretch, letting someone buy most likely a, a V8 or a faster car than a Miata. Yeah, you can see he has a Porsche. You can see that was a GTR that passed him. But, like, I mean, the turns here, you will beat Corvettes and Mustangs in a Miata, but the straight stretches, they'll just fly past you. Like I said, you'll probably be doing, like, 130, 125, something like that in a V8 or faster car, but a Miata is, like, 100 miles an hour. So he's coming up here to turn 10A, 
and uh, he's taking it pretty tight, which is awesome, going over the rumble strip, and then taking 10B pretty tight as well. And then this was actually, he was <laughs> pretty afraid, which is pretty common um, for a novice driver, is uh, turn um, turn like 11 right here, coming down that hill when you're blind is pretty scary. But uh, he definitely got used to it. So we're actually going to switch over to a different view here. Um, and this will be my dad again. Um, so it's actually a better view and we can actually have the sound on. <laughs> we actually haven't had the sound on this whole entire time just because of this wind noise and this view uh, didn't allow it because there was so much wind noise. But uh, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the next view.
that was just my dad driving and this is actually my last session this is my fifth session and um, I was actually driving solo right here and um, as you can see I'm getting on there with a the Mustang but this is actually my fifth session and I was <laughs> driving most aggressively so this session I was trying to get my turn one right here uh, I was trying to get it down and then also I was trying to carry speed through all the turns um, so I'm gonna let you guys uh, go ahead and just watch it. I'm not going to really talk too much over it, but uh, you can see that I was actually driving a little bit more aggressively and I was getting a lot more comfortable with the car and going over all the rumble strips um, between turn three and four right there. So um, I'll just let you guys watch here. guys there's gonna be a lot more content coming uh for track days this the channel this is where it's gonna start going is a lot more driving on the track and stuff so a lot more content with this car and also the ecotech miata is gonna be out there pretty soon as well um so i had a ton of fun uh, my dad had a ton of fun too so i think my mom's actually just gonna drive in here soon but anyways guys until next video remember to like comment and subscribe and peace out guys see you in the next one